like, what did he know they were going to do to Earth? And I like to think that, you know, they were going there to drop a load of those vials in for, uh, to see shit, just mm, explain what happened. To create, but the only thing is, now everyone talks about the, uh, the hologram engineers running away. What were they running away from? Um, there's a, there, before that hologram appears, you hear the sound of the, the deacon from the end of the film, that same roar happens through the recording. So obviously there's an alien outbreak in this mm. place. And, obvi- uh, and when, you, when they find the remaining engineer in the, uh, in the chair room, or the pilot room, there are four, three other cryo uh, chambers, and I think two of them have holes in their chests, uh. uh, but there's no bodies in there. Oh, right. And um, I seem to think why this engineer just outrightly kills everyone when he wakes up, and the fact that, you know, he's instantly heading to Earth with this cargo full of death, as they put it. He's a villain. He's a villainous engineer. We see the we see the engineer at the beginning. He looks like a Roman statue. He looks like a very peaceful being. They leave this green planet and they plant new life on it. They're quite they're like gardeners. Selfless. They're like gardeners yeah, yeah, yeah. of the universe, yeah. you know. And when we next see the engineers, his suit looks like an alien's body. It's fused to his. So whether they've been meddling with the alien's DNA, who knows? But it could have like fucked with them. Mm. And he's, I feel like he's like. Like the 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 engineers are a peaceful race, but they have these this this group of them, like we do as a species, like any species, has those rogues who just want to fuck shit up. Yeah, and he, the Charles and he, Wayland. And he, maybe he disagreed with another engineer. He was like the humans, like I want to change them into this and this, and they're like going, no, we can't just do that because you know they're a peaceful race. And look, we went there, we told them about our facilities. We, you know, we, we we nurtured them in their early growth and we've left them now on their own to like grow and be their own species and then now as we can see they're like, you know, they're re- this is like 2,000 years ago, they're like yeah. growing up and there's that whole Jesus theory but we're not going to get into that because I don't know if I believe in that. Yeah, um, yeah. But I think that engineer who wakes up, why he's killing them all, like for now, my answer is going to be that he's a villainous, he sabotaged that entire base and wants to destroy the humans because he's fearful of what they've created. Mm. He's fearful of, of of us humans and he wants to spread the xenomorph around. He wants to spread that DNA throughout the system because that's why he's taken the black goo to Earth to dump in the oceans or wherever. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's... it's uh... That's really cool, you know, because obviously there's That's the way, way there's way more to that character of the engineer than is ever let on in the film. You, that is like one of the unanswered questions, obviously, why they want to kill us. Um, why only him? Yeah, yeah, and I mean, there's so why many, one engineer. This and, and and like you Where say with the with the rest of the the people in the or the rest of the engineers in the base, you know, there's there's not any explanation really as to what happened. I mean, you could assume, like, say, what you're saying. I mean, it sounds pretty pretty accurate to what could have happened, but you know that. That should be the, I don't know. That should be the kind of question they're trying to find out. But the problem is, is a lot along the way. Well, they should be. Her so character other, does like, say at the end of the film, she's going to paradise. Yeah. To, to go and find the answer. She's yeah. Going totally. to go there and go. Why the hell did you want to kill us? Yeah. Which yeah. is the, if they do make Prometheus two at the moment we record this, they're in their fifteenth draft of right, writing it. They said they, that it is it is complete. They're just going through drafts. So that means they're editing it. Mm. Um, you know, that is going to be a question they're going to answer. Then yeah, there's totally. no way they're going to do that for another film and not let yeah, us yeah, know totally. what's going on. But that's the problem. Is like you know, if you have, if you want to leave an unanswered question, then answer at least a few more of the other unanswered questions in the in the film. You know, like there's just I I don't see how they're going to tie a lot of these ends together that they've left. You know, from the first one, like I I just don't see how they're going to do it, and I don't think it's right to have a film that has such little plot development it just has no plot development really like well, I think, the only I, thing you find I think in like, the grand scheme of things yeah you're right it doesn't have like very much plot development but it, it certainly um, it certainly does expand a lot on the universe the alien franchise mm. um, it, it but it only, does, ex- it only expands but on in a new direction but, no but it only expands on it with hypotheticals it doesn't expand on it with any new information it only says uh, you know, it doesn't say, oh, look, you know, there's a... But f- no, 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 there is new information. For me, there's the whole engineers. 
the oh, engineers yeah, guess, are the whole yeah. new information of like they not there's nothing to do with the alien really it's but the, even it's still, them as a species it's a whole new villain yeah and and who that guy in the chair was an alien yeah but again no, that's that's not even an explanation though. that's another hypothetical they're just alluding to it they're not saying oh yeah because yeah we were talking about this earlier yeah yeah they're not they're, saying yeah, that these guys are the exact same creature these these guys are the space jockey they're not saying that it's like hey look how similar these guys are to the space jockey we're not going to tell you that they are but you know they might be yeah because they're yeah, ships that not... i like the idea that the space jockey is it's like us like Look at our species, how different we were style wise and all that, like back in medieval times, before then, and the Egyptians. And not only like that period of time, uh, like just the time wise, that like go around the world at that time and look at all the different cultures yeah, going yeah. on at the same time. You know, there isn't just one set of rules here. And for the, I think for the engineers, it's the same. Mm. The space jockey, I think they could be the same species or they might not. You know, they might be like dogs and wolves, like yeah. that sort of thing. Like, and yeah, it's like I, I've never questioned that, but I like the fact that we have a new villain or not <laughs> in the Alien franchise. I like that there's a new. It's no longer just humans and xenomorphs. You know, you've got yeah. humans, xenomorphs, and you know, a, another tangible. Because I mean, with the space jockey, it's still all up in the air what that thing could be. I mean, it's likely it probably is an engineer. The fact that it was but... carrying alien eggs in its cargo. Mm. Leads me to believe that they discovered it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's that's what my understanding. They didn't make because, it. They discovered it. Yeah, like that, and they're just emulating what they and see. They praise something. it. They love it so much. Mm. But um, they're just trying to be that thing. They're trying to be their own god. Perhaps. Yeah, that's I why know. I think like his suit is an alien suit, like an alien's body, mm. and it's fused to him. It's like that is what he looks like. Like they've been fucking with DNA for it, ages. Like how. And we know from the black goo that they can pretty much do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And well, the, yeah, that, I mean, that's another thing. That's something you like, 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 right? Yeah, it's just the, like, there's just a sheer confusion of it. It doesn't... Would it, would it have been better for you if the yeah. goo right at the... The goo. The goo right at the beginning yeah. was a different colour? Yeah, I mean, of course. So the one that breaks it down you know, and creates like, new life. Yeah, because there's just... It, you think it's all, no, it's all black? There's no difference there's between... No, yeah, there's no differentiation between what it is and what it does. You can't... There's just nothing, and it, and it doesn't serve a purpose. There's no reason why it should be that confusing. Because, you know, the fact that it does other things, you know, it doesn't... It just doesn't explain anything. It's just... It doesn't need to be that way. You know, if, if there's something that... You know they use to break down DNA, and it's derived from the black goo. Then you know, find a way of showing it. Don't just lump all this stuff in together so that it just becomes a big complicated mess that doesn't make any sense. I think I've just had a, a brainwave. Yeah. I think I've just sat on it. I've just discovered a theory that I I don't think anyone has actually thought of before. Let's hear it. It'll be, be it'll be a first. It'll be a first. This, this, yeah. This this. This is going to be out there, by the way. This is going to be really kind of religious, which is exactly what they were thinking. <laughs> Fucking riddles. What if the black goo morphs and changes you to what you desire yourself to be? So that engineer at the start drinks it, and his will and his about what he wants to happen is to become new life. So yeah, he breaks it down. In new death, he's resurrected through new DNA. What if Fivefield is an angry? Bastard, money hungry, coward who smokes drugs. Like, not that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Smoke, smokes drugs, like in Hollywood, it's always bad. Smo like, smokes drugs and he sits down and he's a bastard to everyone. And when he gets the black goo, he turns into room, malicious. He turns into horrible. this malicious fucking horrible thing. Um, when, um, what's his face? Uh, Charlie is infected. Um, I can't remember the actor's name again. Uh, Newman Prace's husband. Uh, fiance in that film when he's infected at that point he's given up on life because the engineers are all dead and I agree with a lot of people saying you didn't look hard enough like yeah, he's why are you giving out of but hours. he's having like a stroppy child because he, he's like a stroppy he's child an idiot. he's an idiot yeah he's a bastard they all are <laughs> and I'm glad he died but it's like it's oh, so he just starts to break down he just starts what? to break down and like, just disappear yeah. like he starts to just die because what's the point in living what if the black goo literally Molds itself. I mean, to whatever you desire. At, at any point, was, was it's like it's like a god. It's like a god complex in physical form. Because didn't in, in, a, in a sense like it. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives you what you want. It's sort of like your your. It's your wish. Your granted. own personal miracle or something. 
Now, is am I right in in saying that Numi Rapace? That could be mind blowing. Man, no, 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 is it? Because I can't remember because I haven't seen the film in ages. But does Numi Rapace? Is she like? Does she find out she can't have a child? She knows that. Yeah, you find out halfway through the film that she she just can't have children. She. But if she wants children and then she gets she becomes pregnant when she gets the black goo in her. She doesn't get the black goo in her. Um, this is something I. This is a theory of mine. I don't know if it's got any ground though. The eye worm that comes out of uh, his eye, I think, is one of his sperm that has been mutated. It and it's like be. wriggled. It's horribly wriggled its way all up his body, and it's like just comes out the most horrible place you can think of with your eye, other yeah. than your penis. Is is, is, is your eye? And uh, so that's not really a hideous place for it to come out of your penis, but. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 totally. So I think it's one of the infected. Yeah, but then if she if, can't have children, she should. She, what her eggs? And, and like, yeah, no, but if, if, but if if she wants children, that's what she desires, and she gets the black goo. She gets it. Does it does help my theory? I yeah, think. totally. That makes sense. And, and like, who else? Who else? Uh, no, it doesn't help the thing because that's like a physical thing. It's just, she doesn't get the black goo, and he infects her with. Uh, his sperm. But that like, his sperm have traces. Been... It could have traces of the black goo in it. His though, sperm is yeah. compromised. Yeah, by... compromised. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, so she could be getting contaminated with the black goo, but just it's yeah. just dissolved in his bodily fluid. So, perhaps... so look at the worms. Look at the worms that get infected and turn into giant snake things. Because that are perhaps, deadly. Perhaps that creature wants to. But they're just shitty little them. meal worms. Yeah, they want what do they be, want more in life? They want to be a dominant species. Yeah, so they become something more lethal. And that's another thing as well in the film, is like those mealworms, just what the fuck was that about? But anyway, that's another thing. Well, just me. mealworms. Yeah. yeah. They could have used they anything just, else, like an alien, like, but they used mealworms. But, no, but like even like how you find them, and you, they, then they're on the surface, and it's just like... Well, they but they're, 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 they're sitting there living in that room. Yeah, but then, but then you see them on board the ship, don't you, or something? No, 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 that was a theory I had ages ago, I was explaining to you. Yeah. You see David pick some, something up off the floor, and I always thought that that was one of those little worms that they brought from Earth. And then when the person stepped on the gravel in the room, they were on the bottom of the shoe. Like, there was, they had an infection, of, they had like a little infestation of worms. But that's not, I've come to realise that why he picked up, I don't think it is a worm, it's like just a bit of dirt, and he's but like cleaning yeah, it up. And yeah. it's that, and I think it's meant to be the ship's that sterile, that he mm. finds one bit of dirt, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. picks it up. So, but but from watching the Blu-ray, you see the worms in the dirt before they stand up. Oh, cool. So they're in the room. They're like a guard system. As soon as someone enters that room, the black goo comes out. They cover the worms in, and then the worms become the hammerpees, and then fuck you over, like because they're just they're ridiculously strong. Yeah, acid yeah. For blood, you can't really beat them, and they grow back instantly. Yeah, yeah. I well, see. Well, I think this whole conversation here, when we've just basically uncovered another theory of what it could be, just goes to show how. Ambiguous Two is. years after it's been released, and you're still coming up with new theories as to what could possibly be actually going on in the film. Yeah, that just—that's like, what they wanted, though. I they, know, but it's that's what they wanted, stupid. and it's like, it, like it's annoying. And and the there's a quote. Like, there's a quote from Damon Lindelof. Okay, that's genius because he said that him and Ridley Scott sat down in a room and they wrote all the answers to like the ones like why do they want to kill us? They did write that. They haven't written it as a script, but they've written the answers down. And he said that he's not going to reveal it because uh, he's a dick. He, 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 say, he, says, uh, he says in the interview or something like, I know I'm an asshole, but I'm not going to say my viewpoint. Um, I want to hear everyone else's. Which, like, you could say, well, have you actually written it down? No, of course they fucking lying. Don't. Like, that's the thing about the film. Like, I don't know. We'll only just... find out when Prometheus 2 comes out. It's like they're just fucking around with people. Like, because they, they, could, they know they can get the audiences in by saying it's a prequel, a spiritual prequel to Aliens. How, how? But then they just fuck around by just not really doing it. They well, it's not really a prequel, it's just set in the same universe. Yeah, yeah like, 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 like a spiritual prequel. It's not like, yeah, you know, it's not like an actual one. It's just kind of, you know, yeah, like, you know. A, like, a, a, real, a prequel is like the new Thing movie. Yeah. It's like, it actually the leads, origins, it leads the, like the Star Wars. Story. It leads exactly into the story that we know and love. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like I don't know, like it just pisses me off because it's like they used, they abused, in fact, the the ability that they're able to drag crowds in by saying it was you know all to do with the Alien franchise. But then when they when they actually make it, they their their like sort of indifference to actually give the answers just like kind of just basically seems like they're just fucking around and they just can't be asked or they just like are messing with people just because they can. And,